All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about This Week in Destiny God Roll Edition. So the Tuesday reset is about to happen in a few hours at the time I'm making this video go live. So you have seven days to get all of these God Rolls, to get all these weapons before these raids, dungeons, activities, etc. go out of rotation. So this will help you to prioritize how to spend your time in Week 8 of Destiny 2 Season 17. So first up, we have the Nightfall. All right, the Nightfall this week will drop the DFA. This is a really good hand cannon. If you've been watching me play Trials at all, you know I love this thing it's so good. And this will be the very first week that the Adept version of the DFA is made available. So if you can get in there, get into Insight Terminus and beat it. It's a, one of the easier GMs. If you can do so, you can get the Adept DFA, and that will be that much stronger, that much better. Can uh, slot in the Adept mods. The God Roll of this, of course, we're going to be going for uh, Timed Payload, Perpetual Motion, and then we're going to go as much range as possible. This is the God Roll for both PvP and PvE, which is really nice. This weapon works the same in both, or functions the same in both, uh, based on the different perks and options that it has. So if you can get this roll, I would be so very jealous of you. You have seven days to get this bad boy. Moving on to the next one, we're going to talk about the Frontier's Cry in Iron Banner, of course. Bungie has recently talked about they're buffing 180 RPM hand cannons, and if they were to buff them and they were to become the meta, like the best hand cannons in the game, like the 140s are right now, this would be the new Awestringer. This would be the new uh, Fatebringer of PvP. This thing, it would so, so, so good, and the roll it can get is Kill Clip, Rapid Hit, and then we're going to stack on as much range as possible. It's going to be two to the head, uh, two to the body, without the Kill Clip proc, and after Kill Clip proc, it's going to be extremely lethal and a really really crazy weapon definitely definitely worth grabbing so get in there if you're going to jump into iron banner at all it's going to be iron banner rift so love it or hate it it's going to be iron banner rift again and get that frontiers cry along with that riz walker is also a really good shotgun one that has uh, hit the top 10 for trials meta report uh it's the 80 rpm so it fires a little bit faster not quite as fast as the 140s still has decent lethality and if it doesn't one hit kill them obviously you have the option to melee them or just fire two shots because it's pretty fast so you got that quick draw Iron Reach roll, you could go with some other stuff as well, but Quick Draw Iron Reach is going to be your uh, typical god roll you're looking for on this Rizwalker, and then, of course, as much range as possible after that. Next up, we're going to talk about the Wizen Rebuke. Now, this is one that I'm actually kind of excited for. I wish I could get this roll, because even though a minus 23 reduction to reload speed, a plus 20 to stability sounds insane, especially on fusions. So to max out that stability would be crazy, or to get the stability as high as possible, Particle Repeater, under pressure. A lot of these stability perks got nerfed by Bungie, especially because of Xur's made ingredient, but you'll notice that Iron Grip was not nerfed uh, on fusions, and Under Pressure was not nerfed on fusions. So this has two of the unnerfed stability perks on a fusion. This thing is actually nasty and definitely worth grabbing if you can get that god roll. Next up, we'll talk about the Hero's Burden. We got the SMG. You can get Tunnel Vision and Kill Clip. That's a 900 RPM. Definitely nothing wrong with this thing. Um, I personally think the Funnel Web is better, but this is certainly a pretty cool roll with Tunnel Vision and Kill Clip. Might be worth keeping in the old vault. And the last one we'll talk about here, we got Occluded Finality. I don't see a whole lot of people using this anymore, but this was so good, especially when these uh, high zoom snipers were the meta. But Snapshot Opening Shot is still a really good roll of a sniper and definitely worth hanging on to if you do snag one in your process of grinding out some Iron Banner Rift this week. Moving on to the next part, we're going to talk about the weekly rotator of the raid. We have Vault of Glass, and of course with Vault of Glass, we can't help but talk about the Fatebringer, the PvE God roll being uh, Frenzy and Explosive Payload. Thankfully, the time loss version of this is farmable. You can go into the Templar and just farm it indefinitely. A lot of people don't know that or realize that, but because it's the weekly featured raid, it's definitely the time to get the Fatebringer. If you don't have a Fatebringer, get in there and get one. Trust me, don't miss this. Uh, I think it will come back into rotation only once more this season, just before the end. So get in there and grab a Fatebringer if you don't have one already. This is the best roll for PvE. And then for PvP, we would go something more like I have the Storm, and this would be the best roll. So the nice part is you could actually get a roll that has um, all the good perks on it. And it's pretty easy to get a God roll because it does come with Explosive Payload and Firefly as the curated roll. So keep that in mind. This is the curated roll. So it already comes with a really good roll on it and a near God roll of every single drop. So definitely worth grabbing this week in your god roll chasing efforts. Next, we'll talk about the found verdict. Not a lot of people using pellet shotguns, but not a lot of people know that the found verdict is still super lethal and one of the better ones when it comes to handling. So you may want to grab yourself one of these bad boys this week. If you can get as much handling on this as possible, that's what you're looking for because a lot of these um, aggressive frame shotguns just have such poor handling. If you've been using the Felinter's Live, for example, you'll notice it's just so clunky and hard to use. Uh, but this is actually quite the opposite, especially if you max out the handling on the found verdict, get as much as you can. Next up, we'll talk about the Dares of Eternity. It's going to be dropping the Season of Arrivals weapons. So there's a whole slew of weapons 
that are god rolls and worth grabbing. The first one we'll talk about is first in, last out. Auto-loading Vorpal on this thing is super lethal, very potent in PvE, and definitely should be a part of your god roll arsenal sitting in your vault, even if you're not using this right now in PvE. This will definitely be very good um, in future seasons because slugs are so strong. And arc, it's arc, so, you know, arc 3.0, it can only be that much better. Who knows, this could be one of the craziest weapons in arc 3.0. Next up, we'll talk about the Gnawing Hunger. Again, Dares of Eternity. Get in there. Get Start doing the event. These weapons will drop. You got Subsistence Rampage is going to be your typical god roll you use in more low-end content. If you're doing more challenging content, I'd probably use something more like Kill Clip and maybe something like Field Prep to go along with that. So I'd keep a roll of each if you do get one. I only have a roll of Subsistence Rampage, and I'm still looking for this roll right here. But one day. One day I'll get that Gnawing Hunger god roll. Next up, we'll talk about the Night's Watch. Now, this has been handed out in a variety of different ways. I believe Shaw Han has a roll that has uh, explosive payload on it, so you can just get a roll that's pretty good, but if you're in the process of grinding dares, this is definitely one of the better scout rifles. It's a 200 RPM with explosive payload and rapid hit. Very, very good in challenging end game content. Very uh, important to have one of these, at least sitting in your vault, even if you're not using it. It's a very good weapon. Next, we'll talk about main ingredient. This is the most used fusion rifle inside PvP. If you don't have Xur's God roll or one of the other variations of Xur's rolls, definitely get in there and grab one. We have seen perks get nerfed. We've seen Firmly Planted get nerfed. We've seen Tad the Trigger, Trigger get nerfed. So keep that in mind. Now, I would say that the potential god roll could be under pressure in high-impact reserves. I still use the roll that has Firmly Planted and Tap the Trigger. Still very good. Uh, keep that in mind. But, you know, this just got nerfed. It used to be insanely lethal. So the bolt constriction was so tight on the weapon that it made it so lethal from such crazy ranges. But definitely worth grabbing in dares this week. And then next, we'll talk about the Icolus SMG. Again, R3.0 is right around the corner. This thing is going to be beast. This is like, you know, every season we have, you know, like the Recluse, for example, and then we have the Funnel Web. You know, you can insert, you know, random SMG that has been the meta SMG. We've got the Callus Mini tool right now with the Incandescent perk on it, right, with Solar 3.0. Next season is going to be Arc 3.0. There may be a new Arc SMG that's significantly stronger than Icolus SMG, but if there isn't, this might be the SMG of Arc 3.0 that everyone's using. So definitely get in there and get to grabbing one. You've got Threat Detector, and Surrounded is one of your better roles there. Um, and obviously, it's also really good in PvP. Don't sleep on it in PvP. You can do Tap the Trigger and Dynamic Sway, and that thing is just an absolute beast. I've used this thing and done so many PvP videos with this. You've probably been sickened by the number of PvP videos I've done with it. It's so good. One of my favorite SMGs in the Crucible. The last weapon we'll talk about in uh, the Dares of Eternity for the Season of Arrivals collection we have the last perdition this thing rolls with kill clip which is super nasty very lethal has a great timer on it great for pvp great for pve as well for challenging end game content it's got range finder it as well too very good for anytime you have void singe i see a lot of people using this for anti barry right now it's a great option in pve great option in pvp definitely something worth grabbing in dares this week that's going to be your rotation of weapons through all the different activities obviously next tuesday all, all these things are going to be rotated out so keep that in mind you won't be able to obtain all these god rolls so keep that in mind and also just as a disclaimer we don't know for certain that it's the dfa we're just assuming this is the dfa bungie could do some crazy bungie stuff and it might not be the dfa but that's what we would assume it would be due to the rotation of the uh, earlier weeks in the season so that's a wrap on this week in destiny god roll edition make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed smash the like button i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching later